Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to RT Share Tea, where respiratory therapists live out loud. With me, your host, Linda Fry, the asthma lady. Yes. Welcome everybody. Welcome to anyone new. I just wanted to say OMG. Thank you everyone for the love on the book drop that I did. I think what was that a week ago or two weeks ago? Our time is passing me so fast, but I just wanted to say thank you everyone for the support on the mm -hmm, asthma control, please. That is a request. <laughs> okay. Asthma control, please. Nine steps to community awareness nine steps to community engagement and asthma awareness. And so uh, once again, this is just a book. Um, people have been DMing me, asking me the same questions over and over again. And the information was in my computer and it just made sense to put it in a book. <laughs> so know that guys, if you need it, it's available for free on Amazon Kindle Unlimited as an ebook. And it's also available in print. All right, so if you need it, it's available. Asthma control, please. Um, also, we are in on the Patreon space. So anybody that wants to donate to RT, share T, uh, you're able to do that on Patreon. Donate whatever your hearts desire. It just helps to keep up with equipment and supporting the different events that we're having coming up. And um, you know, you'll get exclusives like Q and A, having the um having access to footage and everything a little earlier than everybody else and just a whole bunch of other things coming on in the pipeline. Speaking of events, I cannot say too much, but oh, I'm going to give you a save the date soon for a live event that we're having for RT's charity we'll be having in New York, New York. So in Manhattan, just waiting to lock in the date, but I'm super excited to see some of you guys in person. So come through. All right, guys. So like I said, I don't want to spill the beans too early. I'm trying to lock in the space. So hopefully during the summer, we're going to have a good time. All right. If anybody who knows me, not only am I the asthma lady, but I'm also the prize every time, girl. And if you've been listening to me for a while, if you've been seeing my presentations, you will understand what I mean by prize every time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't wait, but so forget that. Um, okay, so yes. So let me not get distracted. Today's episode is about saying yes to new experiences. So recently I announced that I am going with the Allergy and Asthma Network to, I'm sorry, I deal with so many organizations. I'm trying to make sure I get the name right. Um, no disrespect to any of them. They're all doing amazing and great work. So the AAN, they have a day where they go to Washington, D.C. and speak to you know, members of Congress. So they reached out to me based on all the work that I have been doing around um, fighting asthma disparities and working with the community in, in, in Brooklyn and in New York City and the Tri-State area. Um, and they reached out to me and they were like, hey, do you want to come with us to, to, to Washington, D.C. and speak to these members? And I was like, I, I didn't want to say yes too quick because I've never done that before and I don't I'm like well I'm I'm not really somebody I, I don't consider myself somebody that's um into politics or you know I I barely listen to the news and I told people this so you know when I listen to the news I want to know do I need an umbrella or not do I need to wear my snow boots that's <laughs> that's all that I need when Alexa tries to tell me the news after that I'm like, Alexa, no, ma'am. I just need the weather for today. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. So, yes. So, um, you know, I basically, when I was invited, I went back, you know, I spoke to my, you know, my team, who is my my family, my husband, um, brother and sister. And I also spoke to my mentor, Ellen, and just like asking them if they, you know, what they thought. and um. I'm glad that I have that type of circle. And I just came to the conclusion that I'm going to say yes 
to new experiences. And to be honest with you, it has been um, very, I've been, I've been growing and it's been very rewarding um, just singing. Yes. So I wanted to speak about something that I've covered in presentations before. Not only do I speak on asthma education, asthma management and program development, chronic disease uh, program development. I also speak on career development and how to, you know, to, to how to find opportunities to grow within one's career. So I wanted to share a slide, share some of these things with you guys real quick. So I'm going to, I know people, some people only listen to me through, you know, podcasts, through um, just the audio and they don't watch the visual. So I'm going to try to read it to you guys. But for those that can see, I'm going to try to share my screen. So this is my first time doing it. So hang tight. Um, my first time doing it on the podcast, that is. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can share my screen for you guys. Okay. Okay, so I want to share my screen. Do, 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 do. Now, do I have slideshow? Okay, well, here it is. Okay, ooh, slideshow, okay. Start current slide. Okay, so great. All right, so I hope that you guys can see this um, in its entirety. So, okay, basically when I went to go get my master's, I learned a bunch of theories that help predict different behaviors and why people do the things that they do um, and the different health uh, beliefs and all these things. And one that I learned that was uh, particular that I learned is the PAPM theory. So that stands for precaution adoption process model, all right? So this is a theory that's on the individual level. So understanding why an individual does something. And so for those of you that cannot see the screen, I'm just gonna read it, that the focus for this is for individuals, oops, is for individuals journey from lack of awareness to action and maintenance. So basically you're going from is somebody going from not knowing something and to knowing something and then making the decision of what to do with that information. All right. So the reason why I, I want to talk about this is, is because I want to talk about times when we miss opportunities for growth and um, missing chances to potentially level up or just helping us to once again just develop and, and, and advance in our skills right so boom uh, um, the key concepts are going from unaware of an issue go unengaged by an issue deciding about acting deciding not to act, deciding to act, acting and maintenance. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Okay, so this is the PAMP theory, what it looks like. So like I said, already stage one, we're going from unaware of an issue to unengaged in an issue. So it's like, now you know, but you don't care. Um, undecided about acting and notice there's, there's two sets of arrows arrows where you can decide to act or you can decide not to act once you have the information acting and then maintaining so i'm going to go over what that looks like in real practical terms so going from a journey from a lack of awareness okay so for example you'd be very surprised what people do and do not know so let's take uh, someone that's on who's newly diagnosed with diabetes, for example. All right. So the question, the 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 thing is, eating veggies is healthy. It's <laughs> just so imagine the person not knowing that, right? So now they become aware that eating vegetables is healthy. Okay, they found they got some new information. Um, number th they got information from a friend or whatever. So a friend made a tasty, a tasty um, kale salad found in a veggie packet. So now, based on this influence, you can either decide the person decides 
to search online for veggie side dish recipes. So that is a decision or they can make the decision healthy or not, they still don't taste good, <laughs> right? So that is also a decision like, okay, well, now that I know veggies are good, I don't, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> they still don't taste good, right? So let's say the person did, did decide to go online and search for the veggie side dish recipes. And then from there, they started tasting three new recipes every week. So they challenged themselves and then, you know what? I want to go on this path. Let me take a stab at it. Let me try something a little at a time. So you see how the person is not making a complete a complete shift where it's like I'm only eating vegetables it's like a little dab putting your feet getting your feet wet right so then from there veggies become a part of every dinner so now see how the maintenance has kicked in now we it's become a habit because going from three times a week the person is like oh I can do this and now has done it and then the the other steps are if you, if you, well, you, the one, the people that can't see um, the slide, we have a red arrow where the person, um, I do not feel any different and I still don't like vegetables. So after they did try the, the vegetables, they made the decision that they didn't like it. And that's the end of that, right? So, and here is an example of PAPM in a professional growth uh, uh, status. So, and so um, I use this in to, to, to show how people miss out on opportunities, okay? So let's say you find out we need more asthma educators, right? You, you, you just heard that. So we have a lot of people with asthma in the United States, and this is uh, still a problem. So it's like, wow, we need more asthma educators. Okay, so now you know we need more asthma educators. You found out the NBRC made an announcement. You heard it from the AARC. So once so now you started to listen to our T Share T podcast plug <laughs> stories on fighting asthma disparities. So you're hearing Linda the asthma lady telling you why she do what she do. Okay, so now this starts to inspire you to decide to look up how to become an asthma educated specialist. So you took that one step, just for that one extra step, like, hmm, you became curious, all right? So based off that curiosity, you took the asthma, you took an asthma education uh, review course and you volunteered at the information at the local health fair. So not only did you get new knowledge, you also applied it, okay? So you went out and you was like, ooh, I want to use this, right? And then here, for those that can't see, there's a green arrow underneath that because now you not only did you learn the information, you applied it, and then the green arrow, you became a certified asthma educator. So you passed the exam, you got certified, and you work part-time in the asthma clinic as an asthma, as a, as a asthma educator. So giving yourself opportunities to make more money or to grow within to grow within the profession. Now, for those of you that cannot see the slide where after I, uh, the slide where it says, listen to RT Share T podcast about inspirational stories on fighting asthma disparities, there is a red arrow where it says, I know we need asthma educators, but I'm too busy to study anything new. So know that that is a decision that somebody that could make that can block their opportunity for growth. So know that this happens. And, 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 and this is not just the only example. It could be something like where it's like, oh, that's not for me. Or look at the, arrow, the other arrow underneath the decided to look up how to become an asthma educator. So that was a progressive step, but underneath it with the red arrow, I took the asthma education review course once and that was it. So once again, you gained the knowledge, but you didn't do anything with it, All right? So, and I've had past episodes where I've talked about when you learn something, um, how it's best to try to apply it as quick as possible to 
you, you know, to, to make sure you retain the information. So I have the PDSA, which is the Plan, Do, Study, Act, which works amazing in that aspect. So just wanted to share that with you guys and opportunities for growth. So let's say you applied to be the manager, you applied to um, for a promotion, supervisor, the director, and you didn't get it. It's okay. It's like we, you know, just know that what you can do is prepare yourself for opportunities. And I speak about this a lot because these things are not foreign. It happens to even the best of us and know that there are opportunities for growth. So a lot of the times, and I know people don't want to hear this, but I'm, I'm going to keep it real. If you have been the respiratory therapist or the healthcare professional that's been there the longest, you've been there for 30 years and you are the best at what you do, that does not mean you deserve to be the supervisor, the director, the manager, um, because you may not have the skills yet. You may not be ready for that position. And there are so many things that people don't notice that uh, um, they can work on. So things like, I'm going to read them to you for those who cannot see my slide, uh, is um, opportunities for growth. It can be networking skills, just learning how to connect people, communication skills, emotional intelligence, unification skills. Do you know how to, how to unify people, how to get people together? Time management skills. Like you're, can you, do you know how to uh, um, mentor people? how to motivate people, how to guide people through change, right? That that's a that's a big one. Like change is the death of something old and the birth of a new process. You know, you, people people grieve differently <laughs> through change. Uh, um budget management, conflict resolution. Do you know how to rectify? Do you know how to guide people through conflict resolution? Or are you part of the conflict? <laughs> so you have to think about these things. Learn how to do these, these, uh, learn these skills, um, case management skills, following a patient all the way through from, from the ER to when they get back to home, project management, and just basic leadership skills. So a lot of us just, we just think that people are just born sometime with these amazing, amazing skills. And it's it's not necessarily true. It's just that some of us invest in ourselves and keep going back to, uh, um, to school and we watch the YouTube's uh, channels and the, the, the podcasts and all these things that help us to add add to us so we can continue to add value. So I just wanted to share those things with you guys um, uh, uh, temporarily. I'm not temporarily, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, I'm trying to get off my shared screen. So yes, guys, so that's pretty much um, the, the, the tone that I wanted to use for today is knowing that um, Sometimes saying yes to new opportunities is just such a simple way to grow and, and, and just continue to invest, invest and add and add. So you in return become more valuable and you can offer more to other people and provide more services. You understand? And you become a unicorn. <laughs> All right. Is it's understand why a unicorn is a unicorn. Okay. So, I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I mean, I'm a unicorn and I know it. Okay. So that, that, that I'm just going to leave that right there for everybody. Uh, so yeah, God, let me tell you, May is coming up and May is Asthma Awareness Month. I am busy. So I'm very excited about May coming up. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff coming down the pot lines. So hold tight. All right, guys. So yes, thank you, everybody. And I just want to say uh, um, that we are here every Wednesday on most 
podcast platforms and we are here on youtube every thursday um shoot i, w- I wanted to tell y'all so bad about this event but i don't know i'm just waiting once again for the location to be locked in and so then i could drop the deets on you guys but anywho all right guys so once again thank you for the support catch me on patreon um that is the description it's going to be in the description below um, if you need the book, Asthma Control, please, that's the description will be, in, um, it will also be in the description below. And um, yeah, guys, you know, I'll see you guys next week. I hope you learned something here today. And remember to invest in yourself and to only compete with yesterday's version of you. See you next week. Thank you.